want to go back out live to the scene. Shelby County Sheriff John Samaniego is about to give a news conference. Let's go ahead and listen. An incident that occurred here. Uh, we received a call from a homeowner who was out of town requesting us to check their house due to a uh, one of their uh, children that uh, grown children that they thought might be in town and might be breaking into their house. So we answered our call. We went to the um, went to the house, found the back door broken into. And at that point, the deputies entered the house with permission of the owners uh, and went in clearing the house. When they, were, when they got to the upstairs area of the house, they uh, made contact with somebody in a bathroom. They were com conversing with them, trying to get them to come out. At that point, without warning, they fired upon deputies, hitting two deputies. Um, at that point, the other two deputies got those deputies to safety and then maintained the position and negotiated with the individual till he put the gun down and came out and gave up. We have that person in custody. So I want to stress to the citizens of Shelby County, all is safe. Uh, this incident was isolated and the person that's responsible for it is in custody. So just want you to know that. The two deputies are at UAB hospital being treated. One of them is being prepped for surgery right now. But fortunately, the uh, immediate prognosis is both of them are going to be fine. So we can only hope and pray that. Uh, this is a CEO of a law enforcement agency's worst nightmare. And uh, thank God. And uh, uh, this is our district attorney, Matt Casey, who will be uh, supervising. His office will be supervising the investigation since uh, one of our deputies did return fire during the incident. Uh, it did not injure that suspect, however. So being that the case, uh, we are going to uh, let the major uh, crimes case uh, group from Shelby County do the investigation headed by the district attorney's office and Alabaster Police Department, Pelham Police Department. Um, and they will do the investigation. Um, but that's basically what it is. Matt, did you want to make a comment? We have nothing to add at this time. We're going to wait for a thorough and full investigation to take place um, once we have an opportunity to speak to the injured deputies. Um, we'll have more to say, but until that time, we're, we're going to wait and let the investigation take place. Uh, after this time with you today, all, all, all uh, releases will come from the district attorney's office and not the sheriff's office because we are turning the case over to them. Even though we responded and did preliminaries, we, when we found out that our deputy had, had returned fire, then at that point we want, uh, you know, we want another agency to take the investigation. So uh, just to be transparent here. Um, I'll, if there's a limited question, I might take it. I, we're just getting here. If you could just rehash what happened and how are you doing right now? Uh, well, I'm doing fine. Uh, I have two deputies at UAB Hospital, and both of them are being treated. Uh, the good news is it doesn't appear to be any kind of serious injuries on either one of them. However, you just never know when it comes to gunshot wounds. So, uh, so they're being taken care of there. And we're learning, you know, this was a welfare check. Can you just tell us, you know, the extent of well, this the, job? The, the, home the homeowner was uh, called us asking for a welfare check on the residents due to the fact that a grown child of theirs uh, was in town and they suspected he would break into their house. And when we got here, we found evidence of a break-in on the back door. Uh, we proceeded with their permission, with the owner's permission, to clear the house. And at that point, engaged with, uh, it appears to be their their grown child who fired without warning on deputies. So. Sure. Um, you yes. mentioned that um, this incident took place inside, but we've seen a lot of evidence markers on the outside. Are we, can you tell us anything about uh, what that might mean? Well, the deputies were brought out to the roadway, and at that point, when medics were here, they, they had to take all their equipment off to treat them, and so that's why those markers are there. Uh, you said two deputies uh, helped, I guess, uh, help the two that had been shot. Uh, were, did they, did all four respond initially or did the, the two show up later to help? The two? No, all four responded. Can you just kind of speak to, I guess, uh, I guess the, the heroics or, or, or the, the two deputies who, who helped the, the ones that were injured? 
Well, I, I'd you know I'd rather not do that right now. At okay. this point, obviously, they did their job. They got the defendant in custody, and at that point, they tended to their first. They got their fellow officers out of harm's way, and then they handled the situation, got the suspect in custody, and then after that, uh, okay. you know, they did their job. How long will the uh, investigation take place here? This is very. It's going to be here area. for three or four hours at least because. Uh, we do a very thorough job, uh, and uh, our counterparts here, directed by the district attorney's office, like right now they're getting a search warrant to go into the house and and recover the existing evidence there. And so after that, that'll start the investigation. Then we'll have everything from you know uh, other get uh, evidence gathering tools uh, to not not. I think we're even going to put a drone up and get a aerial view. So. Can you talk about the other response? Are there any other agencies here who are, you know, helping well, with this? Yes, I mean, every agency came at first. You know, we, uh, right now, Hoover's covering our calls here in the north side uh, of the county, and Alabaster's covering our west side of the county. So we get a lot of cooperation. Uh, we really appreciate our partners here. Chair, yeah. I know it's early, but do we have any idea of the number of shots that were fired, and do we have any I idea can't what led to I the inclination of them firing the weapon? I, I can't comment on that right now. We have to find out first. Chair, can you release the names of the deputies that were No, shot? not right now. Did the suspect appear to be under the influence of anything when these deputies approached I haven't talked to him. We're, we're going to end up, uh, you know, putting out a press release with a little more detail at the end of the day. So. Anything else you want to add as far as to the community here, onlookers, neighbors? Well, I, I said it earlier, but I uh, just want everybody to know uh, this situation is isolated. Everything's safe. Uh, there's no suspects running through the neighborhood. We've got the one suspect in custody, so that would be probably the most important thing. Right, thank you all. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.